I want to welcome everyone. My name is Paul Jaber, and I serve as chairman of the Nash Community College Board of Trustees. The members of the board are proud to be the governing body of an institution that anticipates and responds to the unique needs of our community. Nash Community College is dedicated to the students, faculty, staff, businesses, and communities. We serve with the highest professionalism and utmost regard to our mission. The dedication of the advanced manufacturing and cosmetology buildings is a testament to the campus's long-standing commitment to helping meet the evolving needs of our community. Since 1967, Nash Community College has worked to establish partnerships with local industry in order to respond to their unique training needs. As a result, we have significantly expanded student enrollment, and the campus footprint, as you can well see. And graduates are making an impact on the economic prosperity of our community. Many students who learn real-world skills in these new instructional spaces are preparing to earn, enter the workforce and earn a living wage in our local community and beyond. Others will transfer to four-year institutions to continue their education. This is an amazing statistic. Approximately 90% of the students will become part of the workforce here in our community. Thank you for your interest and support of the college's efforts to provide higher education opportunities to the region. And as chair, I extend my sincerest appreciation for your commitment to developing a skilled workforce and enhancing the quality of life for all citizens. Thank you. Again, welcome. I'm Frank Maynard. I'm president of the, uh, the foundation board. And I want to say that, uh, move this over a little bit. I want to say good afternoon and what a spectacular uh, day this is at Nash Community College. The opening of two new facilities uh, that not only expand but perpetuate the existing economy a little bit on the edge of what Paul was saying, but I want to tell you that it, it puts us in a little bit different playing field. Uh, as, as you know, luring industry, and I look around, I see Norris Tol Tolson, and I see the mayor, and I see many others that, that are on the gateway. Uh, it, it, in luring industry, it takes a great community college to be part of that package. And I know that's what we've got here at Nash Community College. The objective being provide not only for learning, but also for earning opportunities that ultimately lead to what Dr. Dr. Carver says many times, it's not just about more jobs, it's about enhancing careers. What you see here today is the results and proof of a local community that's firmly committed to making Nash Community College the best for training and providing greater opportunities with continued support that you make happen. I'm proud to say there's no place in North Carolina, there's 100 counties, there's over 50 community colleges, there's no place in North Carolina where a community comes together to be more supportive of their community college than right here at Nash. With that being said, it gives me great opportunity to, to recognize North Carolina's Golden Leaf opportunity uh, located right here in Rocky Mount, their, their corporate office, which has just announced they're providing a grant for $250,000 to be used toward necessary, uh, necessary equipment to be used for training equipment. I'd also like to recognize the generous donation by the families of Paul Jaber and Trudy Waters to be used for the naming of a classroom in the Advanced Manufacturing Building to be named in honor of William Rogers Waters, Waters Brothers Construction Incorporated. This donation is given by Paul and Elaine Jaber and their daughter Katie, Rogers' daughter Anna and her husband Jerome Costa and their daughter Stella and Madison. Also Trudy Waters, and her sister Therese and Eric Roberts. So let's give them a round of applause. 
On behalf of Nash Community College and the Foundation Board, we thank you for your overwhelming generosity, kindness, and continued support. As I always say, it's a, wonder, a wonderful day at Nash when our community gets behind such a project as you see here and supports the purpose of both the cosmetology and advanced manufacturing. It makes it, it, it uh, the purpose and it makes it their mission to see it through. That's the type of the community we live in. Relative to progress, there's a quote from Henry Ford I always enjoyed. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And that's certainly not the case here at Nash Community College. The Foundation Board is pleased to announce it has just completed its annual campaign with much success. That doesn't mean we won't accept more checks. <laughs> the Board is proud to announce it has exceeded its goal of the amount just under $300,000. Our thanks and gratitude go out not just to outside the school, but also to the committed staff and associates of the college. And I might add that there's a Blue Love Fund set up that this staff and the associates uh, who are very committed have given 100% participation towards the annual goal. So with that, I'd like to give them a round of applause. <laughs> These folks, it's not only all about classroom with these folks. These folks are very committed to their students, and they follow through. If a, if a student doesn't show up for class, they follow through. They want to know if there's a personal problem that they can jump in and help with. So with that, I say thank you very much for that, and again, thanks to all of you for what you do for NASH. Thank you, Frank and Paul, for those kind comments. And um, Paul asked me, did I have a long speech? And I said, well, it depends on if I faint or not in the sunshine is it that we're here, or how much this thin head of hair I have can stand on a, on a bald man's head. Uh, before I get started, I see my mentor and the legendary uh, Reed Parrots in the back. He sat on the back row so he, so he wouldn't uh, I guess we wouldn't embarrass him, but thank you, Dr. Parrott, for coming here today. You notice we put your letters up a little higher today on the, on the, on the building. Just, uh, you cut a tree down. Yeah, no, we're not cutting any trees down if I can help it. So, Dr. Parrott, thank you for being here today. Uh, people don't realize what those early pioneers in the community college system went through to make these institutions a reality. I see some former instructors in the back of the thing. I see a lot of, I'm not going to start naming names because I'll get in trouble, but I will. Uh, there is a time when I have to introduce my bosses, so I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> we do have companies represented today. We, um, I saw Mark Soils in the back with Golden Leaf. Thank you, Mark. Norris Tolson. The mayor's here. Mayor, this is a good day for Rocky Mount as we are building a better community. But before I get started, <laughs> this is a part of the show. This is part of the show. Some people know, some of the students know what I'm doing. Ernestine, you know what this is? All right. Good afternoon, I'm Bill Carver, president of Nash Community College. Welcome to this ribbon cutting, the official opening of cosmetology and advanced manufacturing buildings. This has been part of a five-year vision to intentionally create new learning spa spaces, repurpose other instructional areas and improve the campus environment. A tremendous amount of planning, strategy, hundreds of hours of preparation have gone into these buildings. Many dedicated people have played a part in what you see here today, the teaching and learning areas that faculty and students will collaborate in, create an exceptional learning environment. The college will work together with many partners in the region, none, none more important than our school system. If the superintendent is here, wave Mr. Superintendent. There he is. Thank you, sir. This will only strengthen our partnership. Dr. Jeffries, we just went to City High and we were out in the sunshine there, Dr. Jeffries, and you should see what they've done with City High. And we look for what that, that City High will feed into these buildings. Because it will allow us, these buildings, Dr. Jeffries, will allow us to turn C building over to you so that you can do the same thing that you did with Rocky Mountain High School and create a beautiful new makeover 
for the new home of the early college, finally removing the mobile classrooms and recapturing one of the nicer green spaces on our campus. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the Board of Trustees, trustees who serve as the governing body and have volunteered countless hours in making this building a reality. You already heard from our chairman, Paul Jaber, uh, Mr. Jaber, if you don't mind standing and the rest of the board, Sonny Foster, Vice Chair, Keith Harris, Bill Marshman, Jim Martin, James Mercer, Wayne Outlaw, Russell Proctor, and Dr. Robert Ziff are with us today. Thank you. Thank you to Z Lamb and the Nash County Board of Commissioners, Chairman Davis and the other commissioners I believe are here with us. If you don't mind standing, sir, along with the other commissioners. So thank you to, the, without them signing off on this project, it is not a reality. So thank you for that and that support. Thank you to the voters of Nash County and the state of North Carolina, the administration, faculty and staff, and most importantly, the students. Also the patience demonstrated by everyone during the construction process. Sometimes these things just aren't easy. These buildings are complicated, but they will belong to the community and serve Nash County and the citizens who voted yes for education as a result of the Connect NC bond referendum. As a matter of fact, it will even serve those who voted no, because our middle name, community, does not discriminate. This project, like many other programs at Nash Community College, as I've said, had many partners. The county leadership, in conjunction with the county, with the college, allowed us to move forward. The NC Connect bonds provided real dollars after seeing the value these facilities would add to the region. Nash Community College received funding from the North Carolina Department of Transportation. Thank you, Gus Tullis. Gus, are you with us today? If you are, please wave. If you're not, then you're smart. You're not standing out in the hot sun. We've already mentioned Golden Leaf that allows us to expand the CNC and precision turning equipment. I got that right. I, I've been saying tuning equipment. So, Some incredibly generous individuals have provided private support through the legacy naming we already mentioned. And oh, by the way, Frank, if they have a couple extra dollars, they can see you to, for a naming opportunity. All right. Several years the college has anticipated this event, counted down the days until the campus would begin to use these buildings. This expansion process began in 2010 with the purchase of 25 acres that you're standing on right now. The architects and contractors were selected, the building plans completed, a repeat team of Oakley and Collier architects, Ann and Tim are here, Ann and Tim, please wave. There they are, they're trying to hide from us, have provided state-of-the-art facilities that we're proud of. Barnhill got the site prepared and engineered construction of Raleigh completed the buildings. What you see before you, the advanced manufacturing facility, totaling approximately 16,000 square feet, is home to electrical systems technology, computer integrated machining, electronics engineering, and robotics. The cosmeto cosmetology building, approximately 11,000 square feet, will house the program including instructional salon lab areas, academic classrooms, and general program support spaces. Ernestine, I've heard that some people visit salons at least every other week or so. And I've heard that money changes hands in these businesses. Recent statistics indicate that the hair care and related businesses repeat, uh, represent an annual U.S. revenue of over $42 billion. Yes, that's billion with a B, and over $18 billion in wages. Just saying. All right. The community along with the colleges recognize the diverse needs of local business and industry. Many of the students who will train here will become skilled craft, craftsmen and entrepreneurs. Students participating in these programs housed in these buildings have been some of our best representatives of Skills USA. Now you know why I'm wearing the red coat. This is a Skills USA coat. I've often said we don't have sports teams, we have skills teams. If you don't believe it, Student Skills USA members recently returned from Louisville, Kentucky with several awards, including a national first place in technical computer applications. That's not a poster contest, that's real hands-on work. And you don't get invited to the national convention unless you've won the state. 
So that's why I'm wearing this red coat and this blazer and the chapter of distinction pin. The instruction and technology and delivery methods used in these new classrooms and labs will help our students prepare and meet the demands of a modern, ever increasingly technical workforce and the evolving needs of the local community. I think the state uh, executive director for Skills USA is with us. If you don't mind, sir, stand up and let him see your red blazer. Thank you. <laughs> he said associate director, but I know you do a lot of work for the director. So. Ladies and gentlemen, the equipment in advanced, advanced manufacturing is an investment, as we have said, by Golden Leaf, the U.S. Department of Ed TAC Grants, Duke Energy Foundation, and the state of North Carolina. This is a call to action. The state must continue to invest in equipment. The technical skills acquired here by hands-on knowledge is the knowledge, knowledge is the advantage of a community college education. The hands-on knowledge. Look at these resources in the parking lot behind you. That's hands-on. It does take investments. In the Con Ed building, there are programs supported by simulation, a clean room in partnership with Pfizer, made again in conjunction with Golden Leaf. Companies you've heard of regularly take advantage of this community college investment. What you see before you when you go into advanced manufacturing is over $3 million of equipment. The cosmetology classes, Ernestine, are still going on, so we haven't moved your stuff over, but we're going to get to you. So when you walk through there, you won't see everything that they have over in C building. Their stuff hasn't made it over yet. Thank you to the many friends of Nash Community College today representing our partners in this community. Thank you for your participation and believing in the mission of Nash Community College, a mission to provide an educational environment that prepares students for success. Remember, careers are born here. It gives me a great deal of pride to introduce to you the instructional talent that are going to be part of these two departments. Ernestine Stevenson, director. Ella Brinkley. Shanice Glass, y'all stand if I call your name. And Emeritus Professor, Carrie Parker. Carrie, is she with us today? Yeah, she's right here. Hey, Carrie. Thank you for being here. Long time instruction. The advanced Manufacturing. Department Chair uh, Gary Blackburn. Gary's hiding somewhere in the back, I'm sure. Alex Barnhill, George Shook, Greg Grogan, Stanley Shields. Y'all wave when I see you. Stanley, I, yeah, thank you, Stan. Jay Manning. Is Jay here? We'll put him on the bad list. Carl Harris, Wanda Tyson, Troy Bennett, Ricky Joyner, Jeff Cook, Doug Broad, David Strickland, and Spencer Davis is new, and I don't even think I've met him yet. Spencer, thank, welcome to the team. And we got uh, retirees, I hope they're with us today, that just recently retired, Tim Brown and Ken Windham. Are they here? Well, they, they are special. They would love this building because they waited a long time. And if you like ribbon cuttings, then mark your calendars for sometime in December, and that will be the opening of the Vet Tech program and D building and the new and improved early college, I guess, Dr. Jeffrey, sometime in the spring. Coming soon, all right. Now at this time, I would like to call the following people forward to participate in the ribbon cutting. It's most of you sitting here. The college trustees, the foundation directors that are with us, the president's exec executive council, legacy donors, faculty senate president, Nash County commissioners and, and uh, manager Z Lamb, Tim Oakley and Ann Collier, Scott Dawson, is Scott with us today? I don't think I've called his name. He's um, with engineer construction. Gary Blackburn and Ernestine Stevenson, and of course, Frank and Paul, y'all are gonna be on the front and center. Thank you. Three, two, one. <laughs>